90% of the world's data was created in the last two years, which is pretty astonishing in itself, but to give that some context, uh, Tesco received half a billion transactions a week, and Dunhumby have been analyzing processing that data for about 20 years. So for this to account for just a small percentage gives you an idea of what that scale is in terms of the amount of data. Now, of course, this massive growth is, is due to digital and, and the amount of data that's created every time we browse and access information online. Um, and the, the real reason for this exponential growth is the increased connectivity that uh, Matt alluded to earlier. And this is what's commonly known as big data. Big data on its own isn't necessarily enough to drive value and growth for a business. What you need to do is partner that with the expertise to translate that data into insight. And we at Dunhumby are in a unique position to create some real, real good insights from this data by combining it with the shopper and transaction data that we have through Clubcard, which allows us to really understand how customers are engaging with brands and with media online and offline to give us a complete 360 degree view of how customers are behaving. So having all this data really enables us to understand the individual needs and wants of customers. Using this combination of clickstream and transactional data, we can understand what products customers are buying, where they're buying them, what brands they love, and what's motivating them to purchase, be it price or quality or otherwise. And we have this kind of information on over 400 million customers worldwide. And this is the information that we use to create those relevant communications that you've heard about quite a bit so far. Um, and we've actually been doing it for 15, 20 years with Tesco Club Card. We've been doing targeted um, media through coupons in a Club Card statement, um, what's brought up to customers. And it's just applying that expertise and that, those algorithms, that knowledge to a digital world. I'll try to picture the scene, if you will. Um, not quite appropriate for today's weather, but it's uh, imagine a dreary, cold day outside and um, perfect day for a hearty bowl of soup for lunch and our customer here Cassie we know she buys soup because we have the transactional data that shows she buys it in Tesco all the time we also know from her digital data that she uses her smartphone to search for promotions pass through Groupon or Voucher Cloud um, to get the best deal for, for her favorite brands so we give her exactly what she's looking for we engage her just before lunchtime with a promotional offer for her favorite soup brand Hopefully she goes on to purchase, and the likelihood of that happening is much greater than with perhaps more broadcast media. So how does this work for the out-of-home industry? Well, we've already seen the video um, on JC Deco and how the captain system is driving increased relevancy uh, for media in and around the Tesco stores. And we can use this to improve the targeting of media of other media <coughs> around Tesco. For example here, we've got the uh, weekly shop times of a young family household. We can see that they're more likely to be shopping uh, on weekends and on weekday evenings, presumably after the school run. And this would be the perfect information for planning a campaign for a kids' cereal or baby food. And it's not just campaign planning and proposition development that we're interested in. Um, we've also talked about uh, evaluation and understanding how campaigns performed and using this to, to drive improved performance further down the line. We can understand who has been exposed to a campaign, how often they're exposed, where they're exposed. And then if of those exposed customers who went on to engage with a brand, how often they engage with a brand, profile that customer to understand what kind of demographic they are, is there any regional bias, were they new to the brand, had they switched to a competitor, or were they completely new to the category? And what's the impact been on the long term brand engagement? What's the impact on the category share? Um, what competitor had they switched from? Did they come back and purchase the brand again? We're also going to be complementing this with some, some new propositions, potentially looking at convenience store uh, shop windows with digital panels, as well as in-store zones with make them more of a, a bit more um, theatre to the shopping mission with digital screens throughout the store, strategically placed based on where we, where we see it best fit. And this will also form part of our media toolkit. Um, it will be linked to personal, personalised, seamless online experiences through tesco.com with personalised products offers during the online shopping mission as well as programmatic off-site retargeting apps through Facebook um, with targeted ads in your Facebook newsfeed. And also tailored ads uh, in-store using the AR capability we just heard about as well as NFC technology.